G'day and welcome back for another Space Engineers tutorial. Today, what we're going to be looking at is gyroscopes, but more specifically, whether their placement matters. And there are two aspects to placement that we can talk about. There's position on the grid, so whether I put it on this little spot here, whether I put it here, or within each spot, which orientation I place the gyroscope in. Now, generally speaking, my perspective is that gyro placement for most people's purposes doesn't matter. However, it technically does. So I want to show off the situations where it actually does matter so that you can make a decision about how much you care about where your gyro is on your ship and what orientation it's in, in a deliberate fashion. So first off, let's look at small grid gyroscopes and large grid gyroscopes in terms of which way points forward. And when I'm talking about forward, I'm meaning forward like how this helm here has a forward, up, back, left that's oriented according to how the engineer stands at it. Similar to your cockpit, all blocks have an orientation like that. Now, for a small grid gyroscope, that can be a bit tricky to work out. But forward is the side that is currently pointed to my right. So if I place this down, we have a look. These two little markers, if you can see them both on one side, that's your forward of your gyroscope. See there's one little marker, that's your back. For large grid gyroscopes, it's a bit easier. Large grid gyroscopes are oriented this way. This control panel that you can see on the right there, that's the way that points forward. So if you're needing to orientate your gyroscopes correctly for a large grid, that's the easy way to do it. Now let's talk through what I was saying about orientation and positioning not mattering for most uses. So if I put a gyroscope there, and I put a gyroscope here, all three of these grids are going to handle exactly the same if I hop into the control seat and I use my mouse or use my thumbstick if I'm using a controller to move this around. It's going to be the exact same experience for each of these. They're all going to move. They're all going to move as expected based on the orientation of the grid and the way I expect the controller to behave. However, that's not the only way that you can use gyroscopes. Gyroscopes also have an override function. And if you're like me and you sometimes flip over things like your rovers or your mining ships, knowing these overrides and the direction that they're going to turn your grid can be very, very useful. So we saw before that when I placed this gyroscope down on this grid, it was orientated the same way as my helm. Which means if I go into my menu and I select that gyroscope and I turn override controls on, these sliders are going to behave in a very predictable fashion based on the orientation of my astronaut. You're to the right and I am turning to my right. You're to the left and I am turning to my left. Right click on any slider like this and it'll either reset to zero or it's default. Pitch up, pitch down. Predictable, useful. Roll right, roll left, also predictable. So if you're building gyroscopes onto a rover and you know you're going to be using overrides like this, it's important to know the orientation of that gyroscope. If I have multiple gyroscopes on the same grid, let's put a second one on, yeah, like that, why not? And now I grab both of them and put overrides on both of them. We're gonna get some odd behavior. So if I your right, both of those gyroscopes are doing your to their right. Let's make that spin a little less. <laughs> Both of those gyroscopes are spinning, are yawing to their right, which means that one that's facing downward, it is yawing to its right, which would be, for my engineer, pitch down. And that's why I'm both pitching down and yawing right. So if you're going to use multiple gyroscopes to create an override for flipping a rover over, you're going to need to know the orientation of each individual gyroscope so they can work together to flip your vehicle. So that's the situation where gyroscope orientation matters. Outside of the overrides, it doesn't, it doesn't actually matter. Those two gyroscopes will happily work together if you're controlling directly from a helm or a remote control or whatever. They only work in opposition to one another 
when you are using their overrides. Now, the other parts of this thing, which is where on the grid you put the gyroscope. The way that gyroscopes work is they impart a force directly on the center of mass. And we can see the center of mass of a grid by going to our terminal, clicking on info, and click the show center of mass marker. Now in the center of this blue chunk of batteries here, you can see three lines that intersect at a red dot. That is the center of mass of this grid. All of the force that the gyroscopes generate is applied there. It is not applied where the block is placed. And regardless of where the block is placed, the same amount of force is applied at that location. However, the distribution of mass on your grid will have an impact to how effective that force is that's applied to the center of mass. Now, to make that a bit clearer, let's look at the first part first, which is, does the force in fact get applied at the center of mass? So I've got three grids here. They're pretty heavy. They've all got three gyroscopes on them. The buttons in front of me will turn on a particular gyroscope with its override set to your right at 60 RPM. That means they're going to apply force to the ship in an attempt to reach 60 RPM. None of them are going to reach that though, so we're not going to be capped by that speed. We're going to be capped by the amount of torque that the gyroscope can generate on the grid. Because it's so heavy, they'll reach somewhere under that, and so all three of them should reach the same speed that is just a bit under that. It takes a little while, but now that they've all reached their top speed, their position relative to one another is not changing. They're staying the same all the way around. The rotational speed is the same for each grid. So, there we go. Confirmation that position on the grid doesn't matter for the amount of force generated because all these grids are identical. So we know that the gyroscopes apply the same force regardless of position. They generate the same amount of force. The effectiveness of that force, however, that can be impacted by the gyroscope's position. Not because of any aspect of the gyroscope's functionality, but because the gyroscope is heavy. Gyroscopes, batteries, gravity generators, jump drives, all these big blocks, they weigh a lot. So their position on the grid affects the distribution of mass on that grid. And distribution of mass matters for rotational inertia. Hope I got the terms right there. Even if I didn't, hopefully it conveys the idea. The two grids in front of me are two extreme examples of difference in distribution of mass. The two grids weigh exactly the same amount. If we have a look at our info here, we'll see that they are 688,410 kilograms. And this one is exactly the same. The only difference is where I put that mass. What I've done is used a lot of batteries and eight gyroscopes to push mass out to the sides on the lower one and into the center on the top one. So much like an ice skater spinning on an ice rink, the top one should, for the same amount of force applied, spin faster. So let's test. I've got the buttons ready to go. Let's see if I'm right. In this rather extreme example, you can see the difference. It's plain as day. The one that has its mass close to the center of mass is being spun much faster by the single gyroscope that's on override. The one with the mass distributed far from the center is spinning much more slowly. So if you're designing a very large ship, this might be worth taking into consideration to put your heavy blocks in the middle. Because then you'll be able to control with fewer gyroscopes, but also your gyroscopes are your heavy blocks, so you may want to put them in the middle as well. If you can. If this matters. It may not matter to you. Hopefully some of this information about gyroscopes will be useful for you. If you've got any other questions, let me know in the comments. If you've got any questions about any other blocks that you'd like me to look into, let me know that as well. As I would like to do some more deep dives on specific blocks in the future. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then.